What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be mixing a beat. Um, damn, hold on. Scoot up a bit. All right. Um, it's a regular trap beat, so I'll let y'all hear this joint. That's the gist of it. As you can see, there's like a minimum EQ here. Like this one got an EQ and the delay. Like, not many things are EQ'd. So um, the main thing is this. Uh, that's the problem here. Is this dark piano and this 808? They're kind of in the same frequency space. So we're gonna have to take some meat off of that joint or some fat. You don't have to use this EQ. You can use the um I'm just using this EQ because it got a, a spectral analyzer. I can see where the frequencies are, but you know, Miscraft got the the TB parametric EQ right here. Oops, not this one. The new one. Ooh, yeah. So yeah. Just sweeping out the sub frequencies. Make sure like it's you didn't take out too much and make it thin, so you gotta buy it, you know, A B it. This is before, after. Now check out the relationship between both. There's a little nasally frequency in here somewhere, so I think it's right here. bring up some highs so it can stand out if you cut sudden you gotta add so it's not too hollow Let's see. yeah right there I'll accentuate that oh uh, that's cool Now that we took some stuff away, it's a little bit quieter, so we're just gonna have to raise it a bit. Um, this is the free plugin. Um, it's just a limiter, so let's raise it in volume just a tad. Now on to the drums. These are two different keys. We want these kicks to be on the same key. Let's, see. Let's hear this. I want it at that tone. I think it's about here. All right, now let's get this one. What's negative 5 plus 12? I cannot do mental math for the life of me. Negative 5 plus 12. I'm raising it so I can hear 
if it's on on that key. Sometimes you gotta raise it. Uh, uh. So negative five, negative four. Let's see this. That's cool. So negative six. That's like an octave down. You might always minus twelve. Yeah, but that's too much. So let's get this rubber tab. This rubber tab, uh, I mean, nah, makes things. If you turn it to the left, it makes it more punchy. If you turn it to the right, it makes it more bassy. So I turn it all the way. So I'll punchy over here, bassy. So you can get like really good kicks. I usually have one on the punchy side and one on the bass side. I'll have this. Well, this is already bassy. Yeah, it is. Let's see. See how they just fit into each other really nicely. And then uh, we got to output these things. So two three because we got to eq them so we're gonna uh drop this down hold on save we only need these three um so we're gonna delete the rest control shift d boom all right let's name this this is kick one yeah kick one this is kick kick two and snare so let's just loop this part Let me use this um uh, where is it at pg there it is you know you guys don't have to use this one there's one that comes with i think it comes with all versions of mixed craft this joint um but i i use this one because um it's got a preamp knob on that joint and it makes it, it gives it some grit so we're just listening to this kick Cause we don't want this to clash with the 808, so we're gonna take out the really sub ones. This is the punchy kick, so we don't need that, you know, subbiness in there. Let's accentuate the punch. Let's find where it's at. I think it's around, around there. Yeah. A B it. Always A B to see what you did if you can't hear. Let's pull up some highs so you can really hear that snap. And then pull this down a bit. All right, now it's kind of, we added frequencies to it, so it's clipping now. Now we just gotta bring back in the gain so it's not clipping anymore, if you can see. And over here it's clipping. Let's see. Hold on, it's trying to tripping. Pull back. No more clipping. Let's see what the preamp knob does. This is before. After, before, after. Hold on. Uh, I want this at the same level it was, so I'm gonna bring it down all the way to 10. Till it reaches 10. Now you can really hear a difference because there's no volume change. So we're gonna do that with the other one as well. See how that sounds. This one is super bassy. Let me 
You don't need that much space in there. level six before the EQ so we're gonna bring it back down to that see that three now no is that level 10 before the EQ let's bring some a little bit more base up See how that fits? That's not fitting. That's better. Like that right there. Now they fit together. Let's hear it all together. Save. Uh, we can do the same thing with the snare. Make it stand out a little bit more. These the little things that matter. Uh, no, I don't want. Right here. Oops. Don't make it too piercing the sun that take this down. No, no, I'll take it down. Yeah, take this down. There we go. Take that mud out. What's this? No. Alright, let's hear it before and after. Yeah. Right before. After. Come on. There it is. I'll just leave it right there. You know, it just cleans it up a bit. Takes some of that low frequency out, so. Hold on, we gotta put a um, limiter on here so it doesn't clip. Uh, it's a free limiter, by the way. That's cool. Let's check out this piano. What's going on with that? Hmm. That's cool. Hi hats. We gotta pan these joints. I want this one on the other side. Cause if I have this high hat, it's on the left side. This one gotta be, cause it's a new one, you know, balance it out. This one's on the right side. So these two are on the right side and these two are on the left side. So it balances each other out. 
Now we gotta route these joints to uh, tracks. I'll put um, for get rid of the excess. Control Shift D. Hat one. O hat one. Hat two. O hat two. Same thing. All right, I'm gonna start with this one. Maybe I need to beat them. Little bit more presence on that one. All right, let's go to the next one. Wait, I'm not on the right one. Now I can really hear it. Yeah. Cleans it up just a little bit. Get a little bit of that mud out. All right, let's go to the other set of hi-hats. Sometimes it doesn't really need it. That's why I um, use the piano on it. Sometimes they're just good as they are. So you got to see how it sounds in context with the beat. Because by itself it could sound bad, but with the beat it could sound good. bit of difference um uh, i don't think i'm gonna do the last i had i think that's fine All right, let's hear it And this a chant a little bit to the right. 
just so it's not in the middle like that. Um, when things are in the middle, it just clogs it up. Cause you know, you gotta put a vocal in this joint too. Gotta do these two. Mm, and I think that'll be the last of it because it's not that many instruments in here. Da da da. There's only two in here. Plus that. Get rid of the access. Boom. Shift. Click. Control Alt D. Gone. This one is the Congo, I think. And this one is the triangle. Alright. Loop that. What time are we at? Alright, we're about to get out of here. I don't think this is it. I think this is the triangle. Let's do this. Yeah, I got them confused. All right, let's start with the Congo first. Like it with a little bit of bass in it. Alright, uh, I think the triangle's good. Hold on, let me compress this joint so it can stand out. Cause it's kind of getting buried so compression will kind of like squeeze it a bit so it can stand out a little bit more That's how you do it, mixing a beat. Um, it's a quick one, but yeah, uh, it's all about frequency, like knowing what needs to be turned down and just getting mud and clearing. What mixing is, is just clearing frequency out for other instruments because every instrument got like, like their like stock frequencies, nothing will be heard. You just gotta, what's not needed, what frequencies aren't needed, you turn those down. So other instruments can occupy that space but yeah uh mixing the mastering doing a service hit me up in my email for that uh i do cover arts as well 
I sell beats as well. Hit me up for that. Yeah, dices and I'm out.